Welcome to Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. The Yamaha Discolier is the world's most advanced reproducing and recording piano. It's also the world's most advanced internet-capable piano. When you connect your Yamaha Discolier to the internet, you can enjoy services like Discolier Radio, where you can have your favorite songs played non-stop across a variety of styles and channels. You can also enjoy videos synchronized to your Discolier through Discovery TV, watch videos from Elton John or the Piano Guys or other great classical artists. And again, their performances you'll see on video and have that synchronized perfectly with your Discovery Piano. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can connect your Discovery Piano to the internet and we're going to look at some really interesting wireless options. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is going to be locating the control box that connects this piano to the internet. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm crawling underneath the left side or the side of the piano that has the lowest notes, okay, if that makes any sense. As I crawl underneath here, you'll see that there's this control box underneath the piano. You'll see a couple of very important ports, like these MIDI ports on the right. And over here, you also, in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see these um, RCA inputs and outputs, you know, the red and white circles, and underneath that you'll see the most important port of all, the LAN port. That LAN port is what's going to connect us to the internet. Okay, so the easiest way to connect your Yamaha disc of your piano to the internet is to use one of these. This is an Ethernet cable. One end plugs into that LAN port, and the other end connects to your modem. Most modems these days will have ports that look just like that LAN port. You simply connect the other end in, and voila, your piano is connected to the internet. But if you're like me, you don't want to have all, these, all this cabling going through your living room floor and have all that clutter. I'm going to show you a wireless way to connect your disc of your piano to your existing network. Hey, check this out. This is the new Google Mesh. It's a simple, easy way to expand your existing Wi-Fi or wireless network. So we're going to use this to connect our Yamaha Disc Lever Piano wirelessly to your existing network. <laughs> Welcome to the underbelly of Cunningham Piano. We've got our router modem here. What this is basically is a box that connects to a, a cable, a cable modem cable or a fiber optic cable, which then connects to the internet. You'll be able to find, you, you should know where this box is in your home if you have Wi-Fi. Essentially what's going to happen is we're going to take this Google Home Mesh. You're going to go to the bottom, okay, flip it around and look for this LAN port over here. It look, has a little picture of a globe. That indicates that it's going to connect to the wider internet. You're going to take your LAN cable, one end of your LAN cable, and connect it in like this. Follow the instructions with the app, okay? And then the other end into an open port on your router modem. And then following the instructions on the Google Wi-Fi app, you'll connect to this, okay? And then your wireless Google Mesh network will be activated. And that's what we're going to use to connect wirelessly from our internet router to our Yamaha Disc of your Piano. So let's go over there and get that set up. So here's my second Google Mesh hub. I'm going to flip it over, plug this in over here. Now you'll notice there are two LAN ports. The one on the left connects to the World Wide Web. It looks like a little globe here. If you look carefully, this one looks like three dots surrounded by brackets, angled brackets. This is the port we're going to use to connect this hub to our disc of your piano. After this is plugged in and connected to your existing home network, take this LAN cable, and we're going to connect it to the second port over here. Now take the other end of your LAN cable. Now notice that this clip is going to go towards the bottom and it should just click right into place. Once everything's connected, then power your disc of your back on. Once your Yamaha disc of your piano is connected to your Google Wi-Fi mesh network, you can immediately start enjoying the benefits of disc of your radio. With Disc of Your Radio, you can enjoy music streaming from dozens of different styles and genres. There are a number of free channels to get started with. 
But if you want to enjoy the benefits of some of the premium channels and to enjoy Disc of Your TV, you'll need to have a subscription. Just tap on one of these premium channels and it'll walk you through the subscription process. Now let's talk about Disc of Your TV. As I just mentioned, you will need to have a subscription to Disc of Your Radio to enjoy the benefits of Disc of Your TV. In a disc of your video, what happens is the video's audio actually will come out in two channels. The left channel will contain the actual audio, the vocalist, the band, and that will you can hear that through the disc of your speakers. The right channel contains some embedded information inside the audio channel. It sounds like a hissing white noise, okay? But inside that right channel is the information that the disc of your needs to be able to play synchronized to the video. So essentially what we need to do is we need to output the audio, the stereo audio from whatever device you're playing from, whether it's a, a smartphone or a tablet uh, to the disc of ear, okay? Now, you can do that with a cable, a mini cable, a mini jack to RCA uh, stereos, but we wanna go wireless, okay? So let me show you another really nifty device. Check this out. This is the Logitech Bluetooth Audio Adapter. And this is the secret weapon I'm gonna use to be able to wirelessly send information from my smartphone or tablet, my video information, and send the audio feed to this little device wirelessly and into the disc of your piano, okay? So with this device, I have these little RCA outputs, which is really, really cool. So I'm gonna take a, an RCA cable uh, that has to have RCA mail uh, plugs on both ends. I'm gonna put red to red, white to white, Okay, so it's connected like that. There's also a power port. I'm gonna to to connect the power in, plug this in, and then we're gonna connect the other ends into the control box. Let's take a look. Now we're gonna connect the other end of our RCA cables to this area over here. This is our Omnis, okay? Look on the right-hand side for the Omni in. Put the white cable into the top RCA slot over there. The red cable on the bottom, Omni ins. Okay. To start the pairing process with the Logitech Bluetooth audio adapter, after making sure that everything is connected with the RCA cables and the power adapter going in here, all you need to do is to push this little middle Bluetooth icon button. On your smartphone or tablet, go into your settings. I'm just going to go into the settings of my iPad over here. Go into your Bluetooth settings and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. You should see the Logitech BT adapter appear. It'll probably appear under some of the other detected devices. Tap on that and it should automatically begin the connection process. As you can see, I already have it connected here for this iPad. The nice thing about the Logitech BT adapter is that you can actually pair up multiple devices. The only thing is that anytime you're gonna connect a different device, you'll have to press the Bluetooth button on the Logitech BT audio adapter to initiate the new pairing. So if you're just using one device to control it, you don't have to keep doing that, only if you're switching between devices. Once you have your Bluetooth audio set up, you can go into the disc of your TV, and you can start playing your favorite videos. Let's go ahead and jump over to one of these. So there you have it, connecting your Yamaha disc of your piano to the internet and using your smartphone or tablet to enjoy services like disc of your radio and disc of your TV. Please be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.